Hello and welcome to Challenge to Build. In today's review video, I will be going over what I believe are the two most purchased, most reviewed welding helmets within Amazon. And they are the Yes Welders LYG L500A and the Deco MZ225 Auto Darkening Welding Helmets. And within this video, I will be going over some of the basic functions, similarities between these two helmets and overall styling. So let's challenge the build. So the first order of business is to open these boxes. We'll do one at a time and do kind of like a first impression on what comes out of the box. And the first up is going to be the Deco MZ225. And as we open the box, we see the little user manual with a replacement front glass. So that's good. Coming out of the box, we have the helmet. And as we pull it out of the packaging, we have the headgear that we are going to need to attach. And we have obviously the welding helmet. I opted for the Eagle American flag motif and Visually, it is a very good looking helmet. The styling is really cool and uh, definitely pleased with the way it looks. And then the next up is going to be the Yes Welder LYG L500A. Coming out of the box, we have the helmet. Down at the bottom of the box, we have the user manual and again we have now we have actually what appears to be two so there is two front replacement glass pieces and we have one back replacement glass so already right out of the box we have a little bit of a difference in the contents coming out of the wrapper we see that this helmet is basically ready to run out of the packaging. There is no headgear that needs to be installed. However, I can say that because of the box and it being put together, it looks like these nubs kind of like pushed in on the helmet. So it's very narrow back here. It looks like it's been kind of squeezed, but I guess over, over time and over use, that should come back to... Uh, normal size. The headgear visually is quite a bit different as well. We have the traditional one band on the top with self-adjuster in the back and the Yes Welders helmet has two bands and then has this real big wide band for the back of the head. Again, self-adjuster. So there are two things right off the bat visually with the headgears. And as far as styling, uh, very similar in styling, the same motif. We have the American flag with the Eagle logo. Um, definitely a little bit different of styling between the two. It looks like the Yes Welders helmet is a tad bit smaller in size. I'll hold them up kind of like this to compare the two. And both have the dial on the left-hand side for shade adjustment. The Deco has a grind setting on the dial where the Yes Welders does not. So if you were in a pinch, you could switch this to grind and it will lighten up the shield and you would be able to do your grinding. But there is what they look like visually from the front. Again, you can kind of see just a little bit difference in size. The Deco has a little bit bigger helmet design. I would say visually, for me, styling, the Deco has a little bit better styling. So I guess if it's more important that you look good while welding, maybe the Deco would be the best option. But we're gonna go into more of the details on both of these helmets coming up right now.
So what you just watched in a mere 60 seconds actually was about 10 to 12 minutes worth of footage. And the majority of it was spent actually in putting this together. Now I know for a lot of you, it probably doesn't seem like that um, much of a hassle to do this, but it is, and it takes time to get these set up to where you can put it on your head, adjust it, and then, you know, be able to nod your head, have it come down and uh, stay where you need it to. On the side, there's little adjustment holes. There's three little adjustments that you can put this pin in to help the stop when it comes down. I even uh, looked through the instruction manual for this one to just make sure I was doing it right. And it's very difficult to see. It's actually kind of um, not even legible with how they have it together. So it does take a little bit of time even with the Yes Welder, uh, there still is a little bit of adjustment that has to be done. Obviously, my head is different than yours. So rather simple, just a few pins, set the top. The back of the Yes Welder um, has been improved in older models. The headgear was an issue, so it looks like they have done um, a, a better job at creating a better piece of headgear with this bigger um, support in the back. So overall, you know, this is more of a basic setup. This has a little bit more banding to support it on top of your head with a broader back strap with a little bit of padding. I can say in regards to the Yes Welder, because of how this was put in the box, even though it was assembled, uh, it does push in a lot on the sides of my head, um, but I suspect that will go away with use as it kind of comes back to form as, as far as it heating up and warming up, coming back to its natural form and just overall use, I suspect that won't be an issue for very long. So again, overall, as far as assembly and ease of use out of the box, Yes Welder kind of takes that position. So for the final segment, I am going to break down some of the detailed specs regarding both of these helmets, starting first with the actual viewing area of them. And for the Yes Welder, you get a 3.64 inch by 1.67 inch lens. And for the Deco, you get a 3.62 inch by 1.65 inch lens. So the Deco has a slightly smaller lens, but it's so much smaller that I don't think you would notice it uh, when you were using it. So very comparable in size for both of these helmets. You heard me talk earlier in the video about replacement lenses. When I say lenses, I mean simply just the glass that you replace here in front of the helmet. And for the Deco, it's a lot more simple because all you do is pull it out right from the front of the helmet, which makes it very easy and quick for lens replacement. And for the Yes Welder, you have to remove the back of the lens in order to change the front glass. So still relatively simple to do, but there is a little bit of, of a difference between the two helmets. Um, and I can say that you are going to want a lot of extra lenses for your helmets, uh, regardless which one you buy. The Yes Welder comes with two front lenses and one rear lens. The Deco comes with one front lens. So you're gonna to wanna to purchase extra lenses for either helmet. This way here you have replacements because I can say you are going to wanna replace them often. So this way here it helps with the clarity of when you're actually using them uh, while welding. As for some other detailed information regarding these helmets, they both carry the ANSI Z87.1 safety standard. ANSI is short for the American National Standards Institute and the Z87.1 callout covers general requirements such as blunt impact, radiation, splashes and droplets, dust and small particles. These helmets also carry the EN379 standard, which EN is short for the European norm, and the 379 callout designates the standard for welding filter clarity which we will get into that in just a second. 
The YES welder specifically carries the CSA Z94.3 safety standard, which comes from the Canadian Standards Association for eye and face protectors. So there is a ton of information out regarding all of these standards. This is just a general overview of what they are. So make sure that you do your due diligence for any further information. As for the EN379 standard for welding filter clarity, also known as the optical class, this is where the helmets are slightly different. And I'm gonna do my best to go through what the information is and how they differ. Starting with the Yes Welder helmet has an optical class rating of a 1112 versus the Deco that has an optical class rating of a 1212. And what I would like to do now is break down each of those numbers to try to give you an overview of what they mean and how these helmets differ between the two. In order to qualify for an EN379 rating in the auto darkening lens, it gets tested and rated in four categories, also known as optical class. Each category is rated on a scale of one to three, with one being the best, which is almost perfect, and three being the worst. The first number in the optical class rating is the accuracy of vision, which is going to be the distortion of the lens. Um, think of it like looking through a glass of water. Uh, the Yes Welder carries an optical class rating of one, and so does the Deco. So evenly matched with the optical class of accuracy of vision. The next number on the optical class rating is going to be the diffusion of light. This class is for any manufacturing imperfections. So a top rated helmet is to be expected to have a rating of one, which is basically free of any impurities and exceptionally clear. So this is where the helmets differ a little bit, where the Yes Welder has a rating of one and the Deco has a rating of two. The third number in the optical class designation is variations in luminations and transmittance which is going to be the light or dark areas within the lens. This number rates the consistency of shade across the point of the lens from top to bottom. A number one will deliver an even shade through the lens. A number two or three will have different variations between the coloring in the lens, sometimes too dark, sometimes too light. So in this rating, they are evenly matched at a number one. The final number in the optical classification is the angle dependence on luminous transmittance. This is the ability to provide a constant level of shade when viewed at an angle. Uh, one rating means the shade stays consistent no matter the viewing angle. So in that classification, the Yes Welder has a rating of two and the Deco has a rating of number two. So there are two more things that I wanna bring your attention to real quick regarding these helmets. One of which is the response time in the helmets, which is going to be how fast it transitions from the light shade to the dark shade when welding. And the Yes Welder has an industry standard of one in 10 thousandths of a second and then the Deco actually has a little bit of a faster response time, and that is less than one twenty-five thousandths of a second. So both super quick. Um, you won't notice the difference with the human eye in the transition speed, but there is a slight difference between the two. So depending on how long you plan on welding, um, the response time may play into that. Also, the adjustable DIN settings. DIN is the German industry standard for the light shades. So the higher the number, the darker the shade. And both of these helmets are fully adjustable here on the left-hand side from the shades of nine through 13. And then in the light, Shade is the standard of 
DIN 4. A little bit different between the two. The Deco has a grind position, which will keep it lit at DIN setting 4 while grinding. You just have to remember to switch it back over to weld. Um, this is a feature that is good if you get in a pinch and need to do a quick little grind job. But overall, um, when grinding, the best course of safety is to have a shield and also safety glasses. So that way you can see a lot clearer. Uh, the Yes Welder does have the settings from 9 to 13 here on this dial. It does not have a grind setting. In conclusion, both of these helmets are very capable units for a beginner welder and or possibly someone who is a entry level welder, depending on the budget and trying to get into the field, both of which carry specific safety ratings. So that way you, the welder, are safe, both of which look fantastic with the styling. They do offer different um, options when it comes to overall styling as well. So I hope you found this review to be helpful in sorting out some of the information regarding both of these welding helmets. For more information regarding any of these helmets, make sure you read through the product descriptions within the listings. Also, a great place to look is within the reviews. There's a lot of helpful information in the review section for both of these helmets. Now all that's left for you to do is go out and challenge your build. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in an upcoming review.